So you might be trying to figure out how to use the Outlook mail application. Now, this is one of the more popular types of mail apps out there. Whether you're using the mobile version or the desktop version, hopefully by the end of this video, you have a quick rundown on exactly how to use this particular application. Now, this is the mobile platform. If you take a look at the very top, this is kind of what it looks like after you go ahead and log in. So at the top, you're going to have this little indicator right here next to the inbox name. If you tap on it, it'll give you this box right here. You can add more accounts if you click on this plus button. You'll have different folders and inboxes and deleted and junk and spam mail right here when you click on that. You can also see your Google account or your you know, Microsoft account that's added. And then at the very bottom, you'll have this information box and the settings tab. And if you click on settings, it'll give you a lot of information, different toggles you can kind of modify. So you can, I would recommend going through here, having fun with it, kind of just modifying these settings not modifying them, but just kind of getting used to them because there's definitely a lot of settings there. Now, at the very top right, you'll have a little notification button. This is your notifications that you have within it. Whatever new updates you're getting will come up here, as well as a search bar. If you want to search for a certain you know, file or a sender, receiver, certain mail thing, thing that you got sent, you'll be able to find that information right here which makes things really convenient and really awesome because it really you know, makes it a lot easier modifying and kind of checking out this particular page right here. Now, when you're ready, you click on the cancel button and you have two different inboxes. You have the focus button right here and you have the other button right there. So focus is like your main mail and the other button is kind of like your side mail or some other things, maybe it's like spam or you know things that aren't necessarily the most important. They might show up right here. So you have two different options to kind of choose from. Now under here, you'll be able to see your particular mail come up. These are all the different mail options that you have. So you can kind of scroll through, find the different mail that works best for you. You can go ahead and kind of just load up a certain mail you know, link if you want to. Like there's a lot of different options you have here. So I'd recommend kind of going through, getting used to the mail that you're being sent. And in this case, sometimes if you're being sent mail like this one, this is kind of the layout it would look like. You have a delete button at the very top. You have a archive button up there too. You'll see the mail at the very bottom. You'll have a reply button. You can also just you know directly reply to them if you click right there. So that's something that's really convenient as well. If you just want to quickly reply to them, you have that type of capability. Going back at the very bottom, if you want to just quickly send out a new mail to somebody, you can click on the new bell button, new mail button, and it will go ahead and it will go ahead and actually start you know giving you this option of kind of you know making this mail. So you can send it out to somebody. You can add a subject here. And you can go through and start adding, you know, kind of the mail that you want to send here. You can add attachments, send a photo, all those different things here as well. Clicking on the X button up here, if you look back at the bottom, you'll see this up arrow option right here. Tap on there and you can go ahead and even make a new event or a new message. So if you want to make a new event for somebody, tap on new event. If you want to make a new message, you can just tap on new message. At the very bottom, you'll see a couple of different options here as well. You'll see the calendar option. This is going to give you a huge list of your calendar, the different events that you have upcoming. That will kind of show up right here, making things you know very convenient. And you can set a new meeting if you tap on the new meeting option right there. And then you can click on apps. These are all different apps that you can kind of choose from. So if you click on all apps, if there's any new apps that are available that your organization has, your job has, your school has, you can kind of get access to them right within the Outlook application, which makes things a lot easier to kind of modify as well. So. At the core, that's basically how you use the Outlook mail application. It's very basic, doesn't really take too much time, and that's basically all you really have to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.